at Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum, the Islanders and the Calgary Flames. Let's take a look at tonight's starting goaltenders, as usual. Our goaltenders brought to you by Tim Hortons, always fresh, always there. Rick DiPietro for the Islanders has missed five games, and he comes off the injured list this afternoon. In fact, we'll start for the Isles at 3.45 goals against average, and Mika Kippersop. 22 wins, still leads the National Hockey League, has the puck, feeds it off, Shatan, quick drive, rebound for Hunter, rebound, they score! And the Islanders fight right back, and they get a rebound of their own. And this is one of those that Nika Kipisov makes two saves, and then it goes in. Andrew Ferentz is in front, First save, second save, and third save. Now you want your goalie to get in position. That's right, Nick Kippersov made two saves. And Shatan back to Sopel, the shot. Save by Kippersov. Hunter makes a nice move. Hunter walks in. Another save, rebound, they score! Miroslav Shatan has tied it at two. Uh, Chuck Colbison gets out too long and he doesn't get the chance and he's tired and the Calgary Flames are running around. Kippersop with a good save. Uh, Colbison goes over and he guesses wrong. He gets beaten that. So you take the man, he goes fishing for the puck and uh, it's an easy play for Miro Chitan to pick up this rebound and in it goes. 9.8 seconds left to go in the second period. Chitan is there on the doorstep and he buries it. Man wide open was Parrish. Power play. New York Islanders, Martinet. In now to Yashin. Down low, it's Shatan feeding across. They score. Mark Parrish. First power play goal for the New York Islanders in five games. And it's a big one. Parrish gets positioned in front of the net on Rhett Warner. Rhett Warner's got the stick above his head, but now he can't reach the stick. Parrish spins around and Warner's outside. He can't get position and that's why Parrish is able to tip in that perfect pass from Miro Chatan, who has had a very strong game also for the Islanders. Broken out into a big smile yet. And that's it. The hockey game is over. The game winning goal by Mark Parrish. On a third period power play and the New York Islanders for interim head coach Brad Shaw are successful as they defeat the Calgary Flames, rallying for a 3-2 victory. And again, another blown lead by the Calgary Flames. And uh, Roger, I think you look back into that second goal by the New York Islanders with less than 10 seconds left in the second period. And uh, you talk about turning points and momentum shifts and all those things that uh, just uh, when you're playing a smart game, when you're playing a confident game, they don't happen but they continue to happen to the Calgary Flames. I hate to say it, but you could almost read it as it was occurring, John. It was it was becoming evident as the game wore on. There was a little problem with confidence and puck movement, and in the defensive zone, the Flames obviously had some difficulty moving it off as they now leave Long Island, will fly to Minneapolis-St. Paul after the game, and they'll take on the Minnesota Wild.